A developing story, a law enforcement officer close to the investigation into Prince's death revealed today what happened to him after a performance here in Atlanta. Channel 2's Joe Vita Moore is live in the Satellite News Center with these new developments. Joe Vita? Well, Craig, we are now learning that days before his death, first responders had to revive Prince using Narcan. That is the drug used to reverse an overdose. And this all came hours after he performed at the Fox Theater right here in Midtown Atlanta. After six weeks, investigators revealed the answer the world has been waiting for. Tests show music icon Prince died of an opioid overdose. Fans who packed into the Fox Theater back in April had no idea this would be the last time Prince would ever perform. As he headed home from that concert, his plane made an emergency landing in Illinois. What's the nature of the An unresponsive passenger. Uh, was it a male or female passenger? A hey, male passenger. Officials say Prince was unconscious on his plane and first responders revived him using Narcan. After he was released, an attorney for an opioid addiction specialist revealed the singer's staff reached out to his client for help. Dr. Howard Kornfeld sent his son instead. Dr. Kornfeld was never able to meet Prince, uh, never talked to Prince, uh, and was sadly not able to arrive in time uh, to help Prince. Less than a week later, the younger Kornfeld found the 57-year-old singer dead at his Minnesota Paisley Park estate. Now, Prince was known for living a clean lifestyle. Longtime friend and protege Sheila E. said Prince suffered, though, from, from pain following years of performing in high heels. For now, live in the Satellite News Center, Jovita Moore, Channel 2 Action News. About an hour